What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, today I wanted to do a brief video talking a bit about something that I just wanted to take notice with regards to netties. And well, the reason I wanted to talk about netties is because of today's news that I saw, and it's with regards to Toshimichi Mori. Now, why would I want to talk about Mori? Well, for those that don't know, Mori was the series producer for the fighting game Blaze Blue, which is a fighting game that I really enjoy. Central Fiction was extremely fun, and of course, I even liked Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Mori left Arc System Works, I think it was announced last year, and this left people wondering what would happen with Blaze Blue in general, since Central Fiction has been out for quite some time and we haven't gotten a new game from the franchise though story-wise technically central fiction should have ended there but uh, you never know with these types of games but that's not the point no the point of this video was after seeing the news that basically former marvelous executive toshinori aoki and former blaze blue series producer toshimichi mori have announced the establishment of studio flare a new studio based in tokyo with funding from netease games and it says that aoki will be the president and ceo while mori will serve as the development producer and executive vice president could we be getting a fighting game from them? I don't know, but I'm not gonna speculate much. And after seeing this announcement, I was just thinking that Nettie's for like the last year has been really pressing the pedal and they haven't just been getting studios, but they have been acquiring talent and like funding studios. And this has just been recently. Now, for those that don't know, Nettie's is just a described as a Chinese internet technology company providing online services centered on content, community, communications, and commerce. Uh, they have a lot of stuff. It's one of the largest internet and video game companies in the world. For some reason, they also own pig farms, but they have been in the gaming space for a while now. But if you look at their repertoire of games, it's really nothing too big. Most of the stuff that they have done have been, you know, the typical free online MMORPGs or very big gacha games and mobile games, but nothing too notorious, I would say. Um, they were, they had a deal with Blizzard uh, where like they would be the publishers for like Overwatch, Diablo, World of Warcraft. Craft, but that deal ended the beginning of this year if i'm not mistaken i wouldn't say like i said nothing too notorious from them at my eyes but what has been happening is since 2022 they have been really establishing you know studios like the end of 2021 they acquired grasshopper manufacturer which is basically the studio that suda is the head of and goichi suda is well known for creating titles like no more heroes and killer 7 then in May 2022, they opened their first US studio in Austin, Texas, and it's led by a veteran who has done and worked on multiple MMORPGs. Then a big one was basically they got Toshihiro Nagoshi and Daisuke Sato. Nagoshi is known for being like the head behind the Yakuza series. Sato was also along part of the RGG studio so both of them have been working on the Yakuza series for quite some time and they basically left Sega and established a new studio called Nagoshi Studio, which is part of NetEase. Then in August 2022, NetEase acquired Quantic Dreams. October 2022, NetEase announced the establishment of GP Track 50 Studio, and this is led by former Capcom producer Hiroyuki Kobayashi and he's the president and then in 2023 they acquired canadian studio skybox lab with february they announced the new studio spliced they have been on with regards to getting studios and they're not just opening studios but they're also acquiring talent with a lot of expertise in giving them studios to work on and a lot of these studios are said to be um, focused on pc and console games so i don't think these studios are just going to be doing you know their typical free mmorpg or you know those mobile games that we come to expect from netease so it seems they're really wanting to jump into the gaming industry and actually develop like big 
titles. You, you know, you're not just going to be acquiring big names and funding studios and creating studios just to do gacha games or, you know, the free MMORPGs. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how this will end up. The spending has been out of this world considering the amount of stuff they've been funding. We will see what comes out of this. It was just something interesting. At least I just wanted to talk about it because as I said, I like Place Blue and the fact that I just saw Mori getting technically like a new studio and being funded by NetEase. I was like, oh wow, another one. So yeah guys, as always, these are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts with regards to NetEase? Is there something you are hopeful with regards to all the studios they're acquiring and the talent that they're getting? Or are you concerned? Feel free to leave your thoughts down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.